Yes, the entire world should be terrified. Japan, the United States, and the United Kingdom have joined forces to create a single sixth-generation fighter that would give China and North Korea cause for concern. The FX fighter plane, which belongs to the Japanese Air Force, has features never seen before on a fighter jet, thanks to a fascinating development tale that began when the U.S. banned exports of the ferocious Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor even to allies. In today's video, we'll discuss Japan's sixth-generation fighter, as well as other things. So let's get started with today's video. Japan's Nikkei newspaper revealed tantalizing information about what might become the country's sixth-generation fighter in December 2020. The aircraft will be developed in Japan and is expected to cost around 5 trillion yen, around $48 billion. The FX or F-3 aircraft was believed vital to stay up with and preferably outperform the air capabilities of several of its neighboring countries' cutting-edge aerial assets, particularly China and Russia. China, according to current estimates from Japan's Ministry of Defense, has around 1,000 so-called fourth-generation fighters at its disposal. Worse yet, from Japan's standpoint, these figures have more than tripled in the last decade. Beijing has previously stated its intention to deploy fifth-generation fighters with stealth capability, adding to Tokyo's troubles. Russia is also developing a huge unmanned aerial vehicle and plans to introduce a fifth-generation aircraft soon. From Japan's perspective, this is not good. This development is not entirely unexpected given Japan's government already disclosed its medium-term ambitions to construct its own next-generation fighter in 2018. Who will develop the new fighter? Despite being a technologically advanced and innovative country, Japan has not led the domestic creation of a new fighter aircraft in almost 40 years. As a result, the country is keen to enlist technical assistance from allies such as the United States and the United Kingdom. According to a press release from Nikkei, the Ministry of Defense has narrowed down viable bidders to Lockheed Martin and Boeing of the United States, as well as BAE Systems of the United Kingdom by November 2020. They were assessed in three areas – radar and missile system integration, excellent stealth and athletic ability, and efficient development technology. The International Research and Development Program will provide the fighter some intriguing interoperability capabilities with Allied forces, which will come in handy in an emergency. In principle, the new fighter should be able to share data with friendly American planes, such as the F-22 and F-35, making joint operations more efficient and, more crucially, safer for Allied assets, that is. Working with American companies like Lockheed Martin will provide the Japanese design team with some unique advantages. Aside from Lockheed's extensive experience in aircraft design, Japanese companies will be able to work with Northrop Grumman technical teams. Northrop Grumman is known for its expertise in sensor design and data technology integration for military aircraft. As a result, partnering with Lockheed will make receiving technical help from Northrop easier for Mitsubishi Heavy. The British business BAE is also a strong option for Japan because it specializes in developing electronic warfare weaponry that employs electromagnetic waves to deter attackers. For Japan's new fighter ambitions, this is critical. Aside from these household names, the program is expected to incorporate about a thousand other businesses. This is the average number of people needed to construct other modern fighters. Components such as infrared sensors, lightweight airframes, and information systems will almost certainly be outsourced to the program's supply chain, which will hopefully include indigenous enterprises. So while outside technical support will be utilized, Tokyo wants to be able to develop and upskill its domestic industry capabilities in the long run. What the FX will look like we do, however, have some concept images for what the fighter might look like when finished. After all, it's just a concept piece, so there's not much else to learn from the photographs online. The final product will most likely be rather different. Some have speculated that it will be larger than the F-22 once completed, garnering it the unofficial and frankly great moniker Godzilla. The FX, on the other hand, will include electronically actuated control surfaces. Because room will be limited inside the aircraft to maintain a low radar profile, traditional hydraulic systems will be employed sparingly, if at all. It will also be equipped with a fiber-optic flight control system, sometimes known as a fly-by-light system, and serpentine air intakes to help lower its radar cross-section and heat signature while in flight. Heat shields and an integrated bonded structure composed of composite materials are anticipated to be included in the FX. This will assist in reducing the aircraft's total weight, enabling the FX a far longer operational range and allowing the Japanese Air Force to be more flexible with air bases from which the FX will operate. 
In terms of propulsion, IHI Corporation, one of the key project participants, has been testing a new jet engine, the XF91 Low Bypass Turbofan Engines, since 2018. This engine uses some unusual exotic materials to reduce weight while improving the engine's heat tolerance to 3,272 degrees Fahrenheit. With afterburners, this engine can generate roughly 16.5 tons of thrust. Engineers in Japan have also been experimenting with thrust vectoring nozzles for the XF91 engine, which, if successful, may give the FX some spectacular mid-flight mobility. This type of capability is currently included in the F-22 and Russian Su-30 fighters. The Chinese J-10 and J-20 fighters are said to have this capability as well. Toshiba and Fujitsu, among the project's other members, will lead the development of the F-Gallium Nitride X's Active Electronically Scanning Array AESA radar system. What will the FX fighter be capable of? We've already mentioned a few potential FX features, but they are just rumors. Technical specifications for the FX are currently unavailable for obvious reasons. It will, however, most likely be a twin-engine fighter with modern technologies such as remote drone control, a virtual reality helmet-mounted display, and a radar that can also be used as a microwave weapon to fry enemy missiles, as mentioned earlier. The aircraft will very certainly include advanced mission systems as well as electronic warfare capabilities. In this sector, Mitsubishi Electric is poised to seize the lead. Self-defense jamming functions, for example, will be included in this system. The fighter could also include an Integrated Fire Control for Fighters IFCF system, which would allow Japanese and perhaps American fighters to pool their sensor and missile targeting capabilities, improving the accuracy of beyond visual range missiles. Subaru will design the landing systems for the FX. While the firm is well known for its automobiles, it also has an aerospace branch that produces the wings and landing gear for commercial aircraft such as the Boeing 777. The FX will reportedly be able to manage up to three drone-like faithful wingman craft, also known as combat support unmanned aircraft. These will most likely serve as sensor carriers or scout craft, with others serving as additional weaponry platforms. Both types of drones would vastly boost the FX's offensive capabilities while considerably reducing the manned plane's vulnerability to opposing strikes. Mitsubishi is likely to receive technical assistance from Lockheed Martin in designing the FX's airframe and assisting with system integration. The airframe design and materials utilized will be important for the craft to be genuinely stealthy. For obvious reasons, it must be radar absorbent to some degree in order to help lower its radar cross-section as much as feasible. Because it is so advanced, system integration will be a significant challenge. The new plane will most likely be utilized as a multi-role fighter capable of attacking targets on land, sea, and in the air. It will have stealth capabilities as well as networking capabilities, allowing it to continue operating even if electromagnetic waves disrupt it. That concludes today's video. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Tell us what you think of the 6th generation fighter in the comments area. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Thank you for stopping by.